Hi everybody, this is Massimo Banzi from the Arduino team and we're here to introduce a new board that we just released and we would like everybody to know. We're here to talk about the Arduino Leonardo that we released a few weeks ago at Maker Fair. It is now available for sale from almost all our distributors and it has a few interesting features that we would like to tell you about. First of all, I want to show you this new board because it's simpler than the previous boards we had. Normally Arduino was using two processors, one to operate the conversion between USB and serial protocol and the other one as the main processor. In this particular Arduino, we have one processor that actually acts as the main processor for the board and also it's able to communicate directly through the USB protocol with the computer. So the interesting feature of this Arduino is that by having this direct communication with the computer, it's actually able to implement uh, protocols beyond just a USB to serial protocol that we are used to. Actually, the Arduino Leonardo can behave as a mouse, so when you plug it into your computer with the right sketch loaded onto it, the computer will think that you plug the mouse, and you can move this um, potentiometer. In this particular example that we assembled, the Arduino is behaving as a mouse, and if I move the potentiometer, it will move the, the cursor on my screen. The Arduino can also behave as a, as a keyboard. So when we plug it into my computer, the computer will think I plugged a regular USB keyboard. And then I can generate numbers and letters like I was typing them on my keyboard directly from code. And we think this is actually pretty cool because it opens up uh, the door to a lot of interesting applications. You can build assistive devices that will replace mouse and keyboards with very clever interfaces. It also will allow you to make very cool game controllers for your games. And you can also use it to uh, input the data automatically into Excel spreadsheets. So you imagine you can read the data from the analog inputs and then type it directly into an Excel spreadsheet. So if you're a lazy guy like me, it would be great and, and simple for you to do this. The other thing that the Leonardo has that we think it's really cool, it has more analog inputs, it has 12 analog inputs and one, one PWM output more than the regular Arduino Uno. And it has this, the new Arduino release three layout. So we recently updated all the Arduino uh, platform to a new layout that we call R3, which will be the final and uh, only layout that we will use in Arduino in the future where we added a few pins. So for example now the I2C protocol that is uh, located in a very specific place here next to ARF and it's in the same place on every Arduino board. So if you design a shield you can actually make it work on every single Arduino that we produce right now because the I2C is in the same place. And we think this will open up the door to a lot of intelligence shields that have processors on board that communicate with the main Arduino through this protocol. Another thing that we added is the IRF pin. This pin is able to tell shields what voltage the main processor is operating at. So this allows you, for example, to use your shields on different kinds of Arduino boards. Like we are introducing the new Arduino Due that operates at 3.3 volts and all the R3 shields that we make can actually operate seamlessly at 3.3 or 5 volts because they use the IRF pin to understand which board they're mounted on. So we think it has a lot of, uh, this new layout has a lot of interesting feature and on the Leonardo there's a, there's a nice combination of simplicity and power they would really like. So the other interesting news about the Leonardo is its, its price. So the Leonardo without headers costs 16 euros plus VAT, while the one with header costs 18 euros plus VAT. And we think this is an interesting and welcome news for all the Arduino fans because we have a board which has interesting features not found on the Uno, for example, and it costs less than an Uno. So we hope that you will really enjoy your uh, Leonardo and uh, let us know if you have any questions and thank you for listening.